Welcome back to Soda City Live. Nine-year-old Ralphie Parker wants nothing more for Christmas than to receive a Red Ryder Carbine Action 200-shot range model air rifle. <clears throat> yes, we must be talking about the movie A Christmas Story. And you can follow Ralphie as he ends up crossing paths with those who shout, you'll shoot your eye out. You know, remember that line. In town theaters, A Christmas Story, the musical. Taryn Davis plays the mother and Tracy Steele plays the old man. So glad to have you both. It's good to be here. It's so good. I, I was telling them before we got into the segment, I love when I have theater people on mm -hmm. because you guys are always so chill. You know, it's like <laughs> you're not nervous at all about the microphone, the cameras, the lights and all that. This is really a fun production to do. Is this the first time you guys have done a Christmas story? It is, I believe. Well, it's the first time we've done um, the musical. Well, the musical. The musical, okay. So, but I think the first time that we've actually done the show ourselves. Right. And it's the first time at town that they've done the musical version of it. Yes, and so. what makes the musical version so different besides the music? There's got to be a whole different energy with it. It, it does, because the, the songs themselves explore, you know, both the humorous aspect of it as well as the sentimental aspect of it. I mean, she's got a couple of great songs that really reflect on the sentiment of mm. being a mother and the passing of time. Yes. You know, whereas I get these kind of comic numbers that are about that, you know, that typical dad of right. the 40s right. kind of thing. Right. So. What is it like playing the role of the mother in this? Of course, you're a mother of several children yourself, but <laughs> in this particular play, what do you like about your role? I went back through an old photo album and found a picture of my grandmother who had the hairdo flipped up and a picture of my father who would have been in the same age. And it was kind of a standing joke when we were children to think my grandmother vacuumed with her hair done in pearls and heels, whereas yes. we're running around in <laughs> yoga pants. So oh, that's great. There's some things that have changed, but mothering has not changed. Like she's trying to be the glue that holds everything together. So the mm -hmm. dad has a hard day at work. The kids have a hard day. She's stressed out because she's trying to make a perfect Christmas. There's right. so many things that are timeless. Yes, uh, timeless, very yes. much so. Let's talk about some of the show and tell that we have. And of course, these are iconic props that we remember from the movie and of course the play. But there is the Red Rider gun, right? Exactly. Um, that is so often mentioned, you know, in the in the movie, and there's the entire songs about it. Yes. In the show itself. And then. And the lamp, the yes. leg lamp. I the mean, you, it just you just put that picture on, and everybody right away knows what we're talking about. And picture me walking up the street to get here, <laughs> carrying <laughs> with that, that with that lamp. <laughs> so, um, I'm sure you got some looks. <laughs> we're looking at some of the uh, pictures, the video um, of some of the scenes. Now, this will follow closely the music version, or excuse me, I should say the movie version, and it's narrated by Ralphie as an adult. Right? Tell me more about how that's going to work. He's doing this on his radio show. He is. He's thinking back to his most special Christmas where he received the gift that his mother did not want him to have, but his father was saying, it's okay. It's okay. Right, <laughs> right, right. So y do you have a favorite part, both of you? What, if the whole, move, uh, the whole uh, production, what would be your favorite part, Taryn? Oh, there's so many, but I think it's, it's when the feedback that I've gotten from other people is when the mom is... She's trying to make everything perfect, mm -hmm. and just like life, so many things are going wrong. There's a problem with the, something in the house. Mm -hmm. The car's not going right. Something didn't go well at school. Something didn't go well at work. Mm -hmm. And she's like, this is a mess, but they realize this is our mess. Yeah. And yes. the, the stuff, um, you know, we have people to go through life with. And these are the kind of memories that you laugh about, maybe not at the moment, mm -hmm. but for the next 20 years. That's remember poignant. the Christmas where everything yes. went. That's good. Just so. That's good, sweetie. Well, what would be your favorite part, Tracy? Tying into what Taryn just said, you know, it really is, and not just because it's the end of the show, mm -hmm. it's when we sit on the sofa together at the very end mm -hmm. because we have realized that it's not about, Christmas is not about the Red Rider Mm -hmm. gun. It's not about the leg lamp that I receive <laughs> as an award. It is about family. It is about 
yeah. ways that we say I love you without actually saying the words. Nicely mm -hmm. said. You so. guys already started this production. It ran last weekend and yes. it continues. So let's put the information up on the screen. A, music, a Christmas Story, the musical, mm -hmm. continues starting tomorrow through Sunday, December 18th. The shows on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays are at 7.30 p.m. and shows on Sundays are at 3 p.m. Tickets are $15 for youth, $20 for seniors and military, and $25 for adults. Town Theater is located at 1012 Sumter Street in downtown Columbia. And you can go to my Facebook page right now for a link to purchase the tickets.